pleasures. All right. So today's date, 8-26-22. And we're going to have the area of a trapezoid. Area of a trapezoid, inner notes. Why is it all? Yeah, I mean, I don't want you to, like, skip chunks, you know? So, like, you, we want your notebook to last you forever. So you got to, you know, fill in every spot you can. Because if not, you're going to be buying notebooks, like, every three months. Your parents are going to get mad. All right, a trapezoid is a four-sided shape. It has four sides, but it's not a rectangle because it doesn't have equal sides. All right, so we're going to draw a horizontal line on top and a horizontal line at the bottom, but the bottom line is longer. Bottom line is longer. All right, so we have the top, we have the bottom, but the top and bottom are not equal. That's how you have to draw it. We're going to start drawing it, like right now. Rafael, do you have these two lines drawn? And then, once we have these two lines drawn, then we're going to close it at a uh, an angle, a diagonal. So, do you see how it has four sides, right? But are the sides equal to each other, like a rectangle? Mm -hmm. No. These two are not equal to each other, right? And then these two lines, they will actually intercept. If I make them longer, they will cross each other. So they're not parallel. These two are parallel, but these two are funky. Did you guys see this shape in sixth grade? Yeah. yeah. Makes my life easier. Makes my life easier. All right. All right. So this is kind of different. Or maybe you saw this in sixth grade. This is called your base one, and then this is called your base two. And the numbers are pretty small, and they're kind of like at the bottom. So base one, base two, and then you have your height up here. Your height is inside. Do you guys remember why we can't use these lines as height? Kind of like the triangle thing. Yes? Because they're slanted. They're slanted, right? They're not, they're not completely straight, right? Stand up straight, the doctor would say. So your height will actually come from the inside. Sometimes it's on the outside. It has to be 90 degrees. It has to be 90 degrees, all right? Um, there's another way of drawing a trapezoid. It starts with a 90 degree angle, like so. Starts with a 90 degree angle. And, but the top and bottom are not the same. So you see how this one's shorter? This one's longer. Short, long, short, long. And then we're going to close it. So this is also, ha it looks like a skate ramp. Um, the top and bottom are not equal, so it's not a rectangle. This is base one, and this is base two, and then this is your height. Okay, base one, base two, and this is your height. Remember everything I write, you write, everything. All right, so this is what your trapezoids look like. These are like the names of each of the sides. All right, now we have to find the area of a trapezoid. Now, the formula looks super scary. It's 100% looks scary, but I'm gonna tell you the truth. Once we start doing some problems, isn't it's not very difficult. So we're gonna do area, is equal to, all right, did we get the jackpot? Did we get a whole box for ourselves? Nice, thanks, Ben. Yay. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Okay, parentheses. Base one plus base two, parentheses. 
Does anybody know what parentheses mean in, in math? That's what you do mm, oh. Sometimes. That's what you do first. That's what you do first. So here, this is what I do first. Okay, so base one plus base two, it's inside the parentheses, so that's what you get to do first. You get to add first. Now, yes, Sophia, sometimes it does mean multiplication, but in this situation, it means do it first. So do it first. Then you're gonna multiply by your height. Oh, look at us copying all of this down. And then, once you thought it looked really hard, because it has parentheses, we're gonna all divide this by two. Woo! Doesn't that look hard? Good, I like your attitude. It's not hard. It's just really difficult. No, I'm just kidding. It's not. It's not. No. It 100% it looks like, well, there's a lot of things going on, but we'll guide you through it. We'll be fine. We're okay. We're ready? We're ready? All right, so this is, I'm going to turn the page because I ran out of room, but if you still can continue, please continue on that page. I just ran out of space. All right. Let's do a, a straw trapezoid and we're gonna plug in some numbers now. Four feet, eight feet, and then inside, come on Rafael, five feet. Draw me a trapezoid, plug in these numbers. All right, so the first thing you have to do is plug in your numbers. First thing you have to do is plug in your numbers. So our formula says that area, area is equal to parentheses times plus. Inside your parentheses are your two bases. So which, which number represents my base one? Eight feet, very good. So this number represents my base one. So this number goes inside the parentheses. Which number represents my base two? Four feet. Four feet. So this is my base two. So this number goes in here, four. So your base one is eight, your base two is four. So like your left foot and your right foot, okay? So base one is your left foot, base two is your right foot. Together they're your bases. Can you imagine if one size you wear an eight and your other foot you wear a four? Wow, it's a huge difference. All right, what does the five represent? Your five represents your H, your height. Okay, so the five represent my height, so that's gonna go outside. So my five is my height, that number goes outside. All right, let's do the math. Now we're ready to do the math. What do I do first? Do you have the answer? Eight plus four. Eight plus four, I like it. So what's eight plus four? Twelve. Twelve, all right, we'll write that down, write that down. Twelve times five divided by two. All right. So I do the math that's inside, put it right in there, and then I'm gonna multiply by five. So what's 12 times five? 60. 60 divided by two? 30. So your area is equal to 30 feet squared. Now if you don't know how we got 30, we just put it in the division box, right? Two goes into six three times. That gives me six. Zero. Am I done? No, I got the space up here. So I got to put a zero up here. Okay? So that's how we got uh, 30. All right? Do I expect you to have this all memorized and you can do every single problem? Yes. No. We're going to practice. All right. Let's try... Let's draw another trapezoid. You should be faster at drawing trapezoid. This is the fourth trapezoid you, drew, you have drawn today. Faster. All right. 
So we're going to have um, 6 inches on the top, 10 inches at the bottom, and 4 inches going up and down. Alright, so write that down, copy it, nice and neat. Alright, so I'm going to write the formula again. Area is equal to parentheses base 1 plus base 2 times your height all divided by 2. So that's our formula. Base 1 plus base 2 times your height divided by 2. Um, so which number represents your base 1? 10. 10. So that's the number I get to plug in. 10 plus what number is my base 2? Six. 6. So that's the number I plug in. Parentheses. Times which number is my height? So I put that outside. I'm going to divide that by 2. Now before I continue, the 10 and the 6 have to be inside the parentheses. You can actually write it 6 plus 10 or 10 plus 6. That doesn't matter. The 4 has to be outside. If you put the 4 inside, you'll make a mistake. The 4 has to be outside, okay? Your height always has to be outside. That's the one that matters. Okay, let's do the math. What's 10 plus 6? 16. So we have 16 times your 4 divided by 2. Sixty-four, yes, sixty-four, divided by two, thirty-two inches squared. Ooh, numbers kind of got a little complicated there. Do you guys, do you guys want to learn a shortcut? Yes, the answer is yes. A shortcut makes your math easier. You finish faster. And you look super smart doing it. Okay? So a shortcut in math, they don't always work. Okay? They don't always work. But when they do work, it does make the math easier. And don't we want math to be easy? Yeah. Um, okay. So I'm going to write over here on the side. I'm going to write shortcut. Because I'm going to teach you how to do the shortcut on the side. We're going to take the same problem. And I'm going to show you the shortcut. So we already know that the answer is 32. Right? So we're not worried about like, oh my gosh, what's the answer? Am I going to get it right or wrong? The answer is 32. I'm going to teach you a shortcut to get to 32. All right, take this and we're going to do a shortcut. So 16 times 4 divided by 2. So we're at this step. At this step, we can take a shortcut, okay? So we're going to copy this again here, and I'm going to teach you a shortcut. So here is where the shortcut comes in. Instead of multiplying these two numbers and then dividing by 2, you choose one of them to divide by two before you multiply. So which number do you want to, do you think I should make smaller? 16. 16. So take these two and divide by two right now. What's 16 divided by two? Eight. eight. So I don't, no longer have 16 and two, I just have an eight times whatever I have left over, which is a four. What's eight times four? No. 32. 32. Hey, what's the answer we're looking for? 32. So instead of going 16 times 4 and getting 64 and then dividing by 2 and getting lost, we take one of the numbers, not both of them, just one, and make it smaller. And then multiply and you're done. It's a shortcut. You end up making fewer mistakes because you don't deal with big, big numbers. All right, are we okay? All right, let's try the shortcut again with a new problem. All right, draw me another trapezoid. Draw me another trapezoid. We were supposed to do this yesterday, but, you know, we had to go to that wonderful assembly. Hmm. All right, uh, let's do... Five on the top, 
3 as your height and 9 as your bottom. Let's do that. Okay, can you plug in the numbers before I do? That's your first test. Can you plug in your numbers before I do? What two numbers goes is inside the parentheses? What number goes outside? Can you plug them in? Just plug them in. Which two numbers did you put inside? Nine and five. What number goes outside? Three. So if you were able to do this, plug in those red numbers, good. You're at, you're at a really good spot. Very good. You should be happy with yourself. All right, now let's continue. What's nine plus five? Fourteen times three divided by two. Now, do I want to sit here and really do fourteen times three and then divide by two? No, I really don't. I really don't. Can I do a shortcut? Yeah. Yes. So let's do the shortcut. So do I take 14 divided by 2 or 3 divided by 2? Yeah. Take this pair of numbers and do the math. 14 divided by 2? 7. So this gives me 7. And now I'm going to drop down the 3. What's 7 times 3? 21. So my answer is area is equal to 21 centimeters squared. Would I have gotten that if I did 14 times 3 and divide by 2? Yeah. yeah, but it would have been a lot harder because I would be like, what's 14 times 3? I don't know. Then divide by 2? Oof. No, thank you. All right. Any questions? Are we feeling okay about it? Really good about it? Really bad about it? All right. Don't put away this notebook. Here we go. Look at all these different types of trapezoids on your paper. I'm going to do the number one with you. All right. Area of a trapezoid. Now remember, I like to see the work, right? Your goal is to show me the work, not just the answer, but the work. All right. So on the top, I'm going to write the formula. Area is equal to parentheses base one plus base 2, parentheses, times your height, all divided by 2. Base 1 plus base 2 times your height, all divided by 2. All right. So let's look at number 1. What goes inside the parentheses? Yep. Does it matter what order? Nope. What's your height? Six. Six. Your height is usually the dotted line, and it usually has that 90 degree angle. That makes it your height, six. All divided by two. All right, so what do I do first? Add eight and four. Yeah, so go ahead and add eight and four. What do you get when you add eight plus four? Use those fingers. Can we use a shortcut? Yeah. So we get 12 times 6 divided by 2. Angel, do you have a pass? No. Where were you? Did, they didn't give you a pass? Interesting. 
All right, take a seat. Take a seat. They give you a pass? That's so weird. They give you a pass. I believe you. I believe you. I'm just shocked, right? All right. Really? It's fine. Uh, take out your notebook, Angel. Um, if you want to do 12 times 6, you can do 12 times 6. But why would you? Why do you want to suffer? I would do this first. What's 12 divided by 2? 6. 6. So this gives you 6. And what I... 6 times... 6. What's 6 times 6? 36. 36. Isn't that so much easier than doing 12 times 6? Who knows what 12 times 6 is? Oof, I don't know. 